This is Crystal Fenn with MedPage Today. I'm here at the American Diabetes Association meeting in San Francisco, speaking with Dr. George Backris of the University of Chicago about the accomplished trial. So that trial reported this spring showed that a calcium channel blocker was better than a diuretic in combination with an ACE inhibitor. Um, but that trial included about 60% diabetics. So what did you find in the subgroup analysis that you reported here at the ADA meeting? So the subgroup analysis uh, basically showed that in the trial overall, we had a 20% risk reduction that was greater in the group on the uh, ACCB compared to the ACE diuretic. We were concerned that the diabetic group would actually be accounting for the majority of the, that benefit in the overall trial. So we looked at the diabetic subgroup versus the main group. And it turns out when we looked at the diabetic subgroup, they had a 22% risk reduction. So there's no way that that would explain the total results of the study. Uh, so that was one of the main reasons that we looked at the diabetic subgroup. Plus, that group has a lot more risk. So the good news is that if you use a CCB ACE combination, you did better and with a risk reduction of 22% greater than what you saw with a ACE diuretic. So both were good, but the ACE CCB was better, and overall, um, the benefit in this very high risk uh, mortality group for cardiovascular events uh, certainly showed itself to be true. Now, a lot of the buzz at the um, American College of Cardiology meeting where those, those preliminary results were released was about how this might fit into clinical practice, how to interpret the results for, for that use. So do you think that your subgroup analysis helps in that regard? I think it does. I think the, it's always been thought that uh, diuretics were not the most friendly metabolically uh, for uh, diabetics, but uh, nobody really knew, certainly from trials where they have sequential addition of uh, antihypertensive drugs, uh, there's data about mortality, and diuretics seem to do pretty well there. But here, you have, not that diuretics didn't do well, they did very well, but married uh, to uh, an ACE inhibitor, when you marry a CCB to an ACE inhibitor, you actually do better than what you'd expect to see with a diuretic and an ACE inhibitor. So I think the implications are that a metabolically neutral or somewhat beneficial compound, such as an ACCB, actually gives you a better outcome in people with diabetes than using the diuretic ACE inhibitor. Not that it didn't give a benefit, it, it absolutely did. It's just that the benefit was somewhat better. Is that because there was a better profile on lipids and what have you? Well, I'm not at liberty to discuss that at this point, but I just think the point is that people have an alternative to the ACE diuretic, and it's an alternative that's not only better tolerated, but also uh, better in terms of outcomes. Well, thank you, Dr. Backers. I'm Crystal Fenn, MedPage Today.